Welcome back guys to the Hobbyist Miner channel. So uh, today we're gonna go ahead and jump into a little uh, surprise we got. But in the meantime, if you guys saw another video that I put out, which was how to mine Ethereum on your gaming rig in 10 minutes, I uh, wanted to go ahead and uh, show you guys, we've had this running for 17 hours now uh, at this point, and uh, we're doing pretty good. 405 shares at this point, and uh, uptime's looking good. Um, we are running this on my EVGA RTX 2080 Super XC. Um, now I'm not doing any overclock. I'm literally just leaving it default because it is my gaming rig. But as you guys can see down below, uh, we're doing pretty good uh, when it comes down to our uh, hash rate there um, up in the 20s, uh, which is great. You know, just something different. We threw it on Kapow um, and uh, just getting that extra Raven coin there, which is awesome. Uh, also giving you guys an update on our Raven coin, uh, showing you guys a little bit here. Let me go ahead and bring that up. So we haven't been mining long um, consistently because we've had all different issues and stuff like that, but we're doing pretty good. Uh, right now we're at 1100, almost 1200 Raven coin right now, uh, which at the current price of Raven coin uh, puts us at about $191. So we have paid off two of our GPUs as of now, two of those 470s, just about, uh, and a little bit, a uh, few hours, we should be able to get to that 200 mark. My 47 RX 470s were 200 or $100 each, so 200 bucks for two. Um, so pretty exciting uh, stuff there. Uh, just keep, my goal is to keep earning that Raven coin and those alt coins, and uh, hopefully one of them pops. So anyways, let's go ahead and catch up uh, as to uh, where we were. Before we do that, I want to remind you guys that we are on Twitter. So go ahead and check us out on Twitter, The Hobbyist Miner. Uh, please go ahead and drop a follow and feel free to tweet at me at your current setup. If you're running on your gaming rig or if you actually do have a setup, um, I've been building this YouTube channel just over the last few days, just started it. I uh, had to get that banner done and the logo finished up. But yeah, go ahead and drop a uh, follow there at The Hobbyist Miner. Uh, I wasn't able to get The Hobbyist Miner, too many letters. Also, so last time we left off, guys, uh, we were hanging out and we were talking about the fact that we were running an NVIDIA and an AMD, AMD cards. So I swapped over the 970 to Ethereum Classic, uh, as you guys can see at the top, the uh, Ethereum Classic right now. And we're getting right, almost uh, 7 mega hash, 6.898 6 mega hash on this uh, old timer uh, GTX 970. Uh, and then on top of that, our 470s are in there running around 13.7, 14 uh, mega hash there. All depends. Um, we're not doing any underclock at all or anything like that. Uh, we're just purely mining um, to earn those coins right now. Not worried about power consumption just yet. We'll get into that eventually. But Hive OS, I know it's a little bit off, does say we're at 730 watts. So let's go ahead. We're going to swap over to our lovely camera and uh, let's go ahead and show you guys what we got. All righty. So here's our open frame rig right now. We got our one MSI 970. 470, 470, 470, 470, and 470. Uh, we are mining on the uh, Asus um, B250 Expert Mining Motherboard. Um, so we have plenty of slots. I know it's kind of hard to see because everything's dark and black and the lighting isn't good, nor is the camera, but we got plenty of slots left uh, for more uh, cards. So my goal is to actually get a second frame, put it on top, and then run um, a you know, PCI adapter, cards down here with the USB up into a second rig right here um, and then have a second rig up top uh, because that'll give us 12 and then we still have another six that we can support so do we go up even higher we'll have to see anyways we got ourselves a little treat here I did find a replacement for my 470 that is dead I haven't had a chance yet to go ahead and diagnose it but I came across this sucker and was like mm, I want it uh, so let's go ahead and open this up and show you guys what we got well, we got bubble wrap. <laughs> uh, gotta love it. Uh, no, the more bubble wrap, the better. So we're going to try to do this one handed here without uh, dropping or, or losing our card uh, the best we can. All right. Well, fans are just blowing that off. So what can you see? This is another Sapphire Nitro card. All right. Ooh. So this is here. We'll do the red panel mining fin span. This is a Sapphire Nitro. Um, this is the 570. Uh, actually, when I was looking at this, I, I swore, I, and I looked at it incorrectly, I swore it was an 8 gigabit card. 
And then after I realized it was a four gig card, I was still like, you know what? I still need a card replacement. We've been really dabbling in the four gig cards with a lot of the altcoins. So I was like, why not? So this is the, um, this is the Sapphire Nitro RX 570. Uh, it is a four gig card, uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at it over here against our 470. Okay, so they're side by side. So you can see it's a little bit larger uh, down below here than the 470. This is our dead 470 and here's our other 970. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, power down our rig. Say bye bye to that Nvidia at the end there, little 970. And uh, let's put the sucker in. Okay, so let's grab our wrench and we're gonna go ahead and unscrew this here. Okay, should be good. <clears throat> let's go ahead and pull out our card. So easy, nice and simple. Um, let's go ahead and pop this off the riser. We're just gonna keep that right there for the next card. Cool. Keep that there. So there is our 970 overclock. It was a champ in its heyday. Here's our next one. This is our 570. Now this one doesn't have two six pins. It has an eight and a six. So we're good to go because of our tail there. Cables tucked away. Don't need anything to run into any fans. Let's go ahead and anchor this down, then we'll plug in our power. I always like to anchor it down first before putting pressure on it with the power cables. Okay, so uh, let's un undo our Velcro. And we're going to use one of these. This, uh, our, this just slides right in here. There we go, we'll plug her in. And then we're just gonna use the six. We don't need this one. We'll Velcro it out of the way. Nobody likes loose cables ever. <laughs> get you in trouble. So let's go ahead and get that Velcroed. Okay, good to go. All right, let's go ahead and plug her in. Let's go ahead and power on our GPU power supply first. And now let's go ahead and power on our rig. And we got fans, heck yeah. Alrighty, so as you can tell, it's a little bit bigger. We got some of our cool pi cooling piping coming through here. You know, you can tell it's here versus this one here. Eager to see how this guy runs. Um, Hive OS is booting, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and uh, let's see what we got going on. Alrighty, so we got our cards in. So take a look. So we do have GPU zero is the Radeon RX 570, heck yeah, four gig, uh, Sapphire. And then from there, one, two, three, four, and five are all the Radeon RX 470 Sapphire four gigabyte cards. So a nice little split there. So. Uh, right now, our 470s are running on 1100 by 1950. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and put in some original adjustments here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do 1125. Um, we're going to go ahead and put in our, um, our what do we got here? Our memory and our <laughs> brain fart there. Um, and uh, then we're going to go ahead and do our memory. And in here, we're going to go ahead and set this. Uh, we're looking to set this at 2000 uh, is what we're looking to do here. Um, so let's go ahead and set that. Oh, not voltage. Here we go. I'm like lost for a second. It's like brain farting. <laughs> let's not put 2000 down there. Uh, memory clock, 2000. Perfect. 
let's go ahead and do apply. Um, so now, as you guys can see, AMD OC uh, is applying. Um, so we're going to give it a second. I can hear the fans in the background going ahead and powering up. That has been applied. We can see it's on there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come into the flight sheet um, and we're going to go ahead and edit this flight sheet. I did unset it uh, and we're going to delete the ETC and we're going to update it. Flight Shakes essentially updated, reboot offline workers to see changes. Got it. So now that that is applied, we're going to go ahead and set this worker here. Um, and we're going to wait. We're going to go back here. Uh, and I'll probably reboot it after this has been set. Just a nice clean reboot after making these settings because it's got these settings here. So now let's go ahead. When in doubt, reboot, right? If you're in IT, you totally understand that. So we're going to go ahead and reboot this. And then uh, we'll cut back in just a minute. Alrighty, guys, we are back and off to the races here. The fans haven't quite settled down at the top, as you can see, 40%, 80, 51, 80, 84, and 70. Uh, and our temperatures are great. Uh, we do have auto fans set for 65, so uh, those will calm down in a minute. Uh, it takes some time for everything to equal out. Uh, but anyways, down here to our RX 570, we can see that we have our core in at 1125, our memory core clock speed at 2000. Um, you can see it uses significantly more watts to achieve almost the same mega hash. So I'm gonna spend some time um, over the next week or so trying to hone this in. Uh, I need to do my research to see how this uh, performs, to see uh, if we can get higher out of this. If you guys have or have had a Radeon RX 570, please let me know as to uh, what type of mega hash you've seen, if you've mined Kapow. Uh, this is not mining Ethereum. This is uh, with Kapow on um, a Raven coin. I've been, I've been pushing hard for the Raven coin at this point. Um, so we'll, we'll have to go ahead and see. Other than that, guys, uh, thank you guys very much for joining me for today. We are back running our AMD rig right now. Um, our next step uh, moving forward from here, uh, we got lots of good stuff. I want to get a video out um, coming up here soon about transferring from the uh, Hive OS on USB to the solid state drive. And then I also want to get a video out um, of us testing that bad 470 um, with Jim's uh, ISO um, test uh, to see what we find out as to why that card is not working. So anyways, guys, thank you guys very much for joining me for another video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.